And lastly click on run mode. You can see that the traffic simulator is working. Let watch the simulator behaviors. If I click and hold on the crosswalk 1 button, the traffic light's red 1 will on and stop the car from moving. And if I release the button, the car continues its operation. If I click and hold on the crosswalk 2 button, the traffic light's red 2 will on and stop the car 2 from moving. And if I release the button, the car continues its movement. You can see the traffic simulator is working perfectly. I Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we are going for Logix Pro Traffic Lights Programming. Now we are in the app page, and I drag to adjust the view. I click on Simulations, and I click on Traffic Simulator. Click on Help, and click on Studies Exercises. This is the page and I click on traffic control, and you can see all the addresses and the instructions for this program exercise. According to this instruction given here, red must be on for 12 seconds, green must on for 8 seconds, and amber will on for 4 seconds. What exercise 2 is trying to say is that, during red 1 on mode for 12 seconds, green 2 should be on for 8 seconds, and amber 2 should on for 4 seconds which red 2 will take up to on for other 12 seconds and during this time. Green 1 should on for 8 seconds, and amber 1 will on for 4 seconds. Now let go back home to start the programming. I click on timer counter, drag and drop ton, double click to edit and enter the address, and I enter 120 as the preset. I add another rung which is rung 001, drag and drop latch bit to it, drag and drop open bit to the latch, and another open bit again to the latch end. I drag and drop output bit to the rung 001. Drag and drop the timer address to the top open bit in rung 001. And add slash tt to the address. Drag and drop the crosswalk address to the second open bit. And name it. Drag and drop the red 1 address to the output bit in rung 001. And name it. Drag and drop open bit to rung 002. And give it red 1 address. I click on timer counter and I drag and drop ton to rung 002, double click to load the timer address, and I edit the timer address to be timer 1, the preset should be 80, I click on bit, drag and drop open bit to rung 003, drag and drop timer 1 address to the open bit in rung 003, double and add slash tt to the address, drag and drop output bit to rung 003, drag and drop green 2 address to the output bit in rung 003, and name it, Drag and drop close bit to rung 003, and drag and drop cross walk address to the bit for interlock. Drag and drop another close bit to the rung 003, and give it red 2 address for interlock. Drag and drop open bit to rung 004, and drag and drop timer 1 address to it. Edit the address and add slash dn to the address. Drag and drop output bit to rung 004, and give it amber 2 address, with the name. I interlock rung 004 with the cross walk and I go back to rename it as crosswalk1, interlock rung 004 again with red 2, drag and drop open bit to rung 005, and give it timer 0 address, double click the address to add slash dn to the address. I click on timer counter, drag and drop ton bit to rung 005, and make it address as timer 2, it preset will be 120. I click user, drag and drop latch bit to rung 006, Drag and drop open bit to the top latch, and other open bit to the end latch in rung 006. Give the top open bit latch timer to address, and add slash tt to it. Drag and drop output bit to rung 006, and give as red 2 address. 
drag and drop crosswalk to address to the end latch in rung 006. And name it, drag and drop open bit to rung 007. And drag and drop red to address to it. I click on timer counter. And drag and drop ton bit to rung 007. Make the time address to be timer 3. And the preset will be 80. I click on bit. Drag and drop open bit to rung 008. Give it timer 3 address. And add slash tt to it. Drag and drop output bit to rung 008. Give it green 1 address. And name it. Drag and drop close bit to rung 008 for interlock. And add cross walk 2 to it. Drag and drop another close bit and I give it amber 1 address. But it should be red 1 address for well safety. Drag and drop open bit to rung 009. And give it timer 3 address. Add dn to the address. Add ton bit to rung 009. And make it timer 4. The preset will be 40. I click on bit. Drag and drop open bit to rung 010. Drag and drop timer 4 address to it. And add slash tt to it. Drag and drop output bit to rung 010. And give it amber 1 address. With it name. Interlock rung 010 with both cross walk 2 and red 1. Drag and drop open bit to rung 011. Drag and drop timer 4 address to it. And add slash dn. I click on timer counter. Drag and drop reset bit to rung 011. And give it timer 0 address. Now let's simulate. Click on the change icon. Click on the download to download the program to the PLC. Adjust the simulator speed at the scans. Click on park to activate the car from parking. And lastly click on run mode. You can see that the traffic simulator is working. Let watch the simulator behaviors. If I click and hold on the crosswalk 1 button, the traffic light's red 1 will on and stop the car from moving. And if I release the button, the car continues its operation. If I click and hold on the crosswalk 2 button, the traffic light's red 2 will on and stop the car 2 from moving. And if I release the button, the car continues its movement. You can see the traffic simulator is working perfectly. I click the program mode to stop the simulator. Check the description below for more information. See you in the next episode.